Question, what is the first thing you do when you get to Japan? Answer, go to the Pokemon store where Ivana and I just saw a $4,000 Pikachu trading card <laughs> not to be outdone by the $16,000 trainer card. And so I guess the trading card industry is still very healthy here in Japan because there are trading card shops everywhere and in between the trading card shops are trading card vending machines. Right. And so it's made me realize that if this industry was still popular in Canada, I would still be collecting Pokemon cards. <laughs> it brought back a lot of nostalgia. If it was common and my friends did it, I would still be collecting Pikachus and Charizards. And so in any case, our intention with this video today is to show you guys the train ride to Tokyo from Osaka here where I guess we will have to hold on tight because my understanding is it is the fastest train in Japan. Which is pretty exciting. But just before we leave Osaka, let's get some food because I am hungry. And we've come to a pretty cool place where we're sort of half inside and half outside. The lighting is very good. The weather is just nice here in the winter. And so let's wander and find some food before we hop on the train. Let's go. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. You can barely notice it, but the crab is moving. Even the eyeballs are popping out. <laughs> Beside it, the golden baby. <laughs> I tell you what, I think these restaurants have some of the best 3D signs I've ever seen. <laughs> Everywhere you looked on the whole street. <laughs> you think that octopus is special? Wait till you see this one. <laughs> that one's pretty good. <laughs> so evidently the Glico man behind me is famous for something. But to be honest, I don't even know what Glico sells. <laughs> what do they sell? Is it a company? Know. I have no idea. No idea. For me, the more famous sign should be Super dry, baby. Because these two guys here got the funkiest bass line going. And I'm ready to eat and maybe have some nice Japanese beer. So let me tell you something. These two guys here just earned a buck or two. Good job. than this conveyor belt sushi so as you can see the sushi's coming around and around and around it goes how do we order it we're gonna figure this out oh you just take it I think you just take it when you, if you see it you want it you grab it so this one for instance this is an eel two pieces on some rice you want for eel yes oh gosh shameless good oh gosh Oh, oh, this one for me. Then this one salmon, no? This one. Yeah, this one. Oh, you know what do you want? I think the color of the plate determines the price. Yeah. You're in the blue zone. I'm in the uh, yellow zone. Oh. With onion. With onion and what's that? And this tuna. Oh, tuna so good. I'm having fun already. Wow, Steve is eating fish, raw fish. So good. That's <laughs> Let's play word association. Uh -huh. When you think of Japan, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Sushi. Really? <laughs> anime. Really? Could be anime too. <laughs> what comes to your mind? When I think of Japan, I think it's better. What? <laughs> it's crazy to say because I don't even have any Japanese friends. When I think of a Japanese thing, I think it's better. Mm. Like, would you want to buy a car from Japan or not Japan? Japan. <laughs> You know what I mean? Would you want your right. employee to be from Japan? Japan. You know what I mean? <laughs> there, gonna, if I see an old uh, Olympic gold medal match, Japan for someone, probably Japan. Yeah, they're efficient for sure. I just think they're admirable and good at everything, which makes no sense. I don't even know any Japanese people. <laughs> Somehow, through the media or the movies, I figured out Japan's the best. I don't know how, right, but right. I just figured it out in my head. Look at that. No wasabi for you, eh? No, 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 no need, no need. It's good? Super good. Oh, uh, nice. And that's the tuna. Which one do you like better? Mm, just jerk. Oh, I'm telling you right now, this is probably like the low quality yeah, compared to the good one. I think so. For me, it's five star. I'll even say six star. So good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Normally, the Confer Belt sushi, they're cheaper than the handmade sushi. Mm. Whatever. Mm. And I think he, he's making it there. 
He's making the sushi fresh. Oh my god, you're finished already. Which one is the best? Honestly, I couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> Really? It's more of a texture than the soy sauce. The texture is so good. I, mean, I think I'm gonna eat 10 plates. That's fine. Right. Good. So good. And the prices are about mm -hmm. either 231, 143. Oh, they're all here. 231, ah. 171, 143. The plates, there you go. The color. Which is quite affordable. Yeah. Good. good. Oh, this is so good for me. Nice. We have a favorite. Albacore tuna. What's albacore? Nobody knows. What is yummy? It's like... You tried it already? Yeah, it's good. Really? Mm. Wow. No, you know what? Salmon, so best. <laughs> Salmon is best. Albacore also good. The problem is, Steve, we're sitting at the end. I was just thinking that. So, I know, at the end it's empty. We're getting all the ducks. People get the plump, beautiful ones. We get all the shrivels up. Ducks. Oh, still good though. Yeah. Okay. OMG, they got cheese on sushi out here. Mm -hmm. uh, cheese sushi? They added something new to me at least. Pretty good. Our damage. Tell you what, I think we came to the place just in time because the dinner rush has just begun and the lineup is forming. Yeah. Let me tell you. Pretty nice food and pretty nice price. And the best thing about sushi is I don't feel bloated at all. True. Full and yet ready to run a race. All right. <laughs> but no need to run because we're about to hop on a train. So let's go to Tokyo. Good job, Steve. Good job. I'll tell you what, great signage. Shinkansen. Maybe, oh, right there, another big sign. Okay. We did not get lost, which is a success. So, Ivana, what you're doing is you're exchanging your online ticket you're redeeming the paper yes okay so i got a qr code oh here, here, here. and then oh good work ivana i think it's about to come out the bottom two tickets oh three tickets who's coming with us <laughs> two i don't know okay and then and then we jump on the train let's go <laughs> I tell you what, pretty impressive space down here because uh, obviously so in true Japanese style, it's perfectly clean and perfectly organized, but it's so big and the signs are clear and in English. We literally just follow the signs from the metro to the ticket redemption. Yes, but it's kind of overwhelming just because of how big it is and there are too many signs for me. Too, my, too many signs that makes it confusing. Anyway, we figured it out. It's always easy traveling with Ivana because she does all the work. What's this? I don't know which one is which. Okay. Oh, we got four tickets. I don't know what's different. This is a ticket, I think. This is a ticket, right? These two are tickets and those two are receipts. We'll each take one of each. Okay. That would be the right way to do it. You wanna, do you feel confident? Not really. <laughs> Let's try. Uh oh. My first one's gone and the door didn't open. Okay, second one. Now I'm in. So both of them go in, babe. And same like before. They both come out with a hole punch in it. Oh, so clever machinery. I mean, it's kind of old school, the hole punch, but I'm sure it's 100% reliable and efficient. And so they come spitting out the side like that. And now you got two with a hole punch, right? Yeah, hole punch. Easy peasy, babe. Okay. Are we underground? Is that a dumb question? I've I think we're no underground, clue. right? But it's so big. It almost feels like I'm on the fifth floor of a, like a mall or something. <laughs> <laughs> no clue. I'm a little bit confused right now. Oh, so big, so many people. What? Suzuki? Yeah. They're selling Suzuki's in the underground train station. And there are places to buy food before you get into your train, like this one, box bento. And just in case the train has no food, I think I'm gonna buy some snacks here, just small ones. They got sushi, some triangle rice, I'm not sure what that is. Tuna mayo, I think I'll get this one, tuna mayo. Tuna mayo and this one. I like this uh, kind of dinari tofu sushi. Now I'll get this too. Good. 
All right, so we have found our train on the board, which was actually harder than it needed to be because in true jet lag warriors fashion, we showed up way too early for our train. And so we were too early for the train to be on the board, but this is us, Nozomi 222, 1115. Let's find track 26. And of course, the longest line here, Starbucks. <laughs> longest line at the train station there's 20 people for Starbucks <laughs> and I tell you what I still don't know how far we are underground because I guess our train is up the escalator so maybe we were maybe we're above ground now first class. oh that's first class in there are we uh, regular class you wanna <laughs> regular class so this is what first class looks like sneak peek maybe in a few more years with a few more subscribers we can afford the seats like that. Oh. Okay, here's our train coming. And by the way, the aerodynamics are on point on this train. Look at that slope nose cone. <laughs> reserve seats. We got the reserve seat. I tell you what, these seats are more than okay for me, you know? It's pretty spacious. No need for first class. The, the yeah. foot room is big and uh, the seats are nice. Good. We'll see if we get a third person in our... Uh... Hopefully not. If not, we oh, get to stretch can out. Adjust the seat to it's pretty go good, Ivana. Yeah. Oh. I'll tell you what, it's got to be lucky for Ivana. Traveling the world, never lifted a suitcase <laughs> in her life. Wow, what a lucky lady. I am lucky. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Now, the question is, did we book the right train? because there's a train class lower than ours called non-reserved seating, which looks to be empty. So we could have saved some money and stayed there. But the risk is if you stay in the non-reserved seating and it's full, you stand up, True. which was not on our intentions <laughs> at all. So uh, depending on the time of year, I guess, and the time of day and where you're going, if you know more, you can do uh, non-reserved seating. But first class was not an option, and so I think we did okay. Yeah. Middle, middle class. And I guess there is Wi-Fi on the train, so it's time to test it out and see if you can game. Gaming online while going 270 kilometers an hour. This is exciting for me. Let's do it. Lots of leg space. More than okay over here. Yeah. Stretching out. And look at this, comes all the way down like this and close up. Bro, I'm happy with this. Now we got a new friend. You both got beer. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a compile later on. <laughs> oh, oh. I'll, I'll wait for him. <laughs> oh, maybe now it's a demo. <laughs> Best dream ride ever. <laughs> maybe it's the button on. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh. That's a lot. A lot of. Space here. <laughs> 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 there we go. From my friend Matsimoto. He's sharing some snacks. Very nice, nice guy. Good. <laughs> it's like um onion flavor. Mmm. Crunchy snack. Green onion flavor. Matsimoto. Totally wrong with that. I had the J's on my head. <laughs> what? I think Japan is one of the only countries when they say there's free Wi Fi, train, bus, public area, it actually works. Maybe Japan and Korea. Everywhere else they say it's free and then you click on it and it says, oh, sorry. It totally works. We're doing our video premiere here on the train. And the guy beside us is asking for our channel name. How nice. Very cool. <laughs> Got it, Steve? Nice. Subscriber, <laughs> subscriber. <laughs> Are you 
excited for Grill Wheel? Have you had before? Yeah, love it. All right, stay tuned. Okay, our friend is going. Bye bye. I'm going for this. Oh. It's pretty clean. Look at this. It's not even wet. Very good. We have arrived in Tokyo. So, final review of the train. First of all, the rows are so big that when the person on the window seat wants to go to the bathroom, the two other people don't even have to stand up. So it's not like an airplane where you're all sort of knee to knee and thigh to thigh. There's plenty of room. And when you stand up is the only time you feel the speed. So when you're in the seat, you won't notice you're traveling so fast, which is sort of impressive because we just went 500 kilometers over the course of two and a half hours which means our average speed was 200 kilometers an hour. And when you factor in all the stops, it means we were well over 200 kilometers an hour uh, consistently. I believe the top speed is 270 kilometers an hour, but I could be wrong about that. You guys can let me know in the comments. And so for the speed and for the comfort and the space, I give five stars, but for the friends we made along the way, I give six stars. And so our new friend actually gave us some recommended restaurants to buy something called Unagi, which is grilled mackerel or grilled eel. He was very clear the grilled eel is the best one. Maybe I'll let Ivana go for the grilled eel and I'll have the grilled mackerel. Uh, but he gave us some restaurants that hopefully do not cost uh, 10,000 yen while still being good quality. So let's go show you guys our apartment as I don't drop the suitcases down the escalator and then we'll go for Unagi. Very good. Together. Oh. Give me one back, give me one back. Oh. It's gone. Do I need it? I put two in there and got one back. Oh. <laughs> anyway, do we still need it? No, right? Is it a transfer? Uh, I don't know. Cover the cost of transfer? Anyway, someone took mine already. I didn't know who was it. I thought, I thought okay. it was gonna be the other one. Like, you, put, you put two in, right? Yeah. And then only, and then you just walk right through. Yeah. Ah, I thought okay, they, okay. they're taking the tickets just like any other. Yeah, yeah. No problem. This is a souvenir for me, okay? Okay. Wow. I swear, Japanese train stations are the busiest in the world. Wow. <laughs> By the way, nice looking train station. Oh my gosh. It's like a ballroom or something, no Ivana? <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Almost looked like a European architecture up top. I'm sure it's not, but uh, quite beautiful. Ah, now here's the map. By the way, I love how there's a circle in the middle of the Tokyo subway. <laughs> kind of impressive, no? Right in the middle, they got a loop. And then they got a million lines going every direction. We got to figure out where is Shinjuku. What line is on? Red, no? Yeah. Oh, oh right there, right there, right there. Right here. Okay, so we gotta go 210. Two, two, two times 210. Oh, yeah, we got it. Good. Hey, okay, Ivana, pro tip. There you go. Don't lose your ticket this time. I didn't lose it. I thought the machine was gonna take it. You knew normally at the end of your trip, true, true. the machine will take your <laughs> ticket. So actually, to get into this beautiful room, mm -hmm. we had to put my ticket yeah. in the machine to let us in. And then Ivana just walked behind me. Yeah. Criminal. Japanese international criminal. <laughs> no. You didn't pay your fare. <laughs> not criminal. I was just not aware of the ticket situation here. And there was somebody else actually that anyway, did the nice same as here, me. No? Yeah. Pretty spectacular. Almost looks kind of familiar to like a uh, European architecture. Obviously True. different, but just kind of big grand pillars and arch yeah. at the top. Nice. Okay, let's go. Uh oh, Ivana's got the red sign up. Ivana got a stop sign. Different company ticket. Sorry. Different company ticket. Oh, a different ah. line. Ma Maronuchi? Subway ticket machine. Ah, okay, okay. Pardon me, Subway? Subway here is Subway. 
Here's What's this one? This one is for JR Company. JR Line. Okay, we go JR Line. JR Line Shinjuku. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Arigato. So we thought we bought the Marinucci line, but Shinjuku is multiple stations going there. Multiple lines going there, rather. Gosh, Japanese subway, I hate it. It's too confusing. Too many lines. Different companies too. Not just one company, different companies. Let's go. All right, Ivana. I got a good feeling about this. Show me that green line. Show me that green. Oh, you're in there like swimwear, Ivana. <laughs> Good job, Steve. Oh, lucky us. The Yamanote line is the loop. See the circle? Don't matter which way you go, you're going the right way, baby. You said it's hard, left is right, and right is left. How, what's hard about that? North is south and up is down. Or <laughs> south. Oh gosh, where's Ivana? Oh, wow, it's amazing how quiet it is in here. Totally full train and everybody so respectable. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh. It's hard to do right now. What? Is this hard for you? Yes. It's hard to do, right? Yes, very. What exit we gotta go? I have no idea. I'm trying to get a fuck somehow. <laughs> what the heck? I have no idea where we are right now. I guess this train's going over our heads. I think so. You can hear it. Yes. If you were to look at this sign right here, okay? How would you leave? Here, no? Don't know. There's no exit signs in this place. So, so confusing. We're gonna book a hotel underground because we can just stay down here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we gotta find the exit. Oh, how okay. about the green arrow? Maybe that's exit. Oh my god, we're outside. Oh, we're already. You're trying to go outside? You've been outside for hours. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> we're still in the basement though. That's for taxi. <laughs> I'm guessing it's that way. The exit. We just need to go out there. We gotta go over there, man. Yeah. All right, we keep trying. Hey, Ivana, never give up. Oh my gosh. Yes. We found the exit, everyone. It's the same like Chinese. The the three candles and the square. Oh yeah. Oh, my first Japanese huh. word. Menorah Square exit. Interesting. Got it. That's Got the same it. as Chinese. You're right. Huh. Or similar, at least. Oh my god, hopefully this is the exit. It's so hard to find. Hopefully we're not trapped down here. Oh. Seriously? No, it's a mall. There's a hotel or something. Is it exit? Can we exit through the plaza? Okay. Exit. Okay. Oh my gosh, finally, and it's raining, <laughs> come on. Ah. We made it out. Now we just gotta walk 23 minutes to our accommodation. In the rain, let's go. In the rain, that's right. Why did Tokyo get so crowded? <laughs> Do you remember this? This is a new experience. <laughs> It is super crowded, oh my god. <laughs> That's good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Full of anime, of course. Here in Tokyo, or all over Japan, actually. Oh, look, guys. There's a Godzilla <laughs> in the building. <laughs> we made it. Oh my god. Yes. Finally. All right. Full apartment tour. First things first, laundry. Love it. This is our kitchen. We got the double burner. We got the, oh, look at this. Maximizing the space with the countertop over the sink. 
the lovely Ivana has found herself a home on the love seat. Got the flat screen. Got the bed. This is pretty standard Tokyo size, I guess. It doesn't seem overly big. AC flash heater over the bed with what is this thing? Ejection seat? What was this for? I'm scared. Wow. I thought I was gonna make that bed vibrate or something. And then I guess this is our bathroom. Now let's see if the toilet here matches the quality of our Osaka toilet. Which I'll spare you the details, everybody, but it involves hot water and my butt. Never mind. Oh. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, same thing over here. Let me tell you something right now. Absolutely five star. Let's be clear, six star. I say it because I mean it. Seven star toiletry here in Japan. I'm a changed man, everybody. And then uh, that's the rest of your shower. No shower curtain. Same like Osaka. The, the water just goes all over the floor and there's another drain in the floor. So I don't even know the point of the tub because the water's going everywhere. But in the end, there's your bathroom. Now, Ivana. You want some eel or you want some mackerel? Because I want it, baby. And I'm hungry, baby. Okay, let's look for some eel. <sighs> By the way, you do look... I you're a little so bit tired. tired <sighs> a long journey from Osaka. Although, we were in the fastest train in Japan. Only two and a half hours. <laughs> I'm tired too, babe. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of... Going with the flow. So we met our friend on the train. We said come by. Then we said goodbye. And now we are eating unagi as per his recommendation. I asked him his favorite food, and he said for sure unagi. Uh, he said grilled, grilled mackerel, but he said the grilled eel is the top top. Now he said if you get a bad one, it's not so good. If you get a good one, it's very good. So is this a good one or a bad one? We don't know. This is not the restaurant he recommended because he he didn't know all the restaurants in all of Tokyo. But here we are. So first things first, let's have some rice. Good rice. Now this is eel, which I will admit, I Googled, is eel a fish or a snake? <laughs> stupid Google, it's a stupid Google. Turns out it's a fish. Um, hoping it's not very fishy. Pretty good. Good. But, what does it taste like? It's pretty fishy, to be honest. Really? But manageable because soy sauce everywhere. Oh. And it's grilled quite nicely. Now I think, slash I hope, this is deboned eel. Yeah, it is. Last thing I want to do is have one million bones in my mouth. Pretty good. I'm not going to give you a star count because what? it's not on my <laughs> top foods right now. But off my show, it's good. Good. This is the nature of our travel. We like to just see what we come across and go with the flow. First time trying something new. Something there new. Listen, on the way here, walking here, there's a sign that said all pizza, 500 yen, yeah. and all drinks, 350. Yeah. Which means I could have had pizza and a beer for 850 yen. Which typically is what I would do. But for the sake of going with the flow and meeting a new friend, uh, we go for grilled mackerel. Yeah. Grilled eel, sorry. Wine in a box. Let's enjoy. I think you'll love it, Ivana. The meat is good quality. And it's oh, very good. no bones and very tender. Good. Mm -hmm. If you like fish, you'll like this. Mm -hmm. We also got some soup and pickle. So let's eat, man. I think I'm with our friend from the train. This becomes my top favorite no, Japanese food. Can <laughs> Is your favorite Japanese food now? <laughs> Better than sushi. Sushi is also good. Sushi is also good. For me, I think it's five stars. I like it. Yeah. I'll come in at a four, but the first bite had the fish flavor because I have phobia. <laughs> but now that I'm going through it, quite, quite yummy. It's not fishy, it's I not think. Fishy. And it's kind of like glazed with some, I don't know what kind of flavoring they have, but it's very good. It's nice. Yeah, it's tender. It really is just I good. I like it. And what's this all about? Mm, I think it's tofu. Yeah, tofu soup. I guess you drink it. I got no spoon. Yeah, drink it. So, in conclusion, I for one am pretty glad to be back in Tokyo. Oh, look at that. LeBron James is selling Louis Vuitton. He strikes me as a guy who knows a lot about handbags. 
Now, with that being said, uh, glad to be back. So stay tuned to our channel for a full Tokyo tour. We have been here before, but it was like six years ago, and we did make videos from here. I would invite you to watch the videos, but they are so horribly bad. It is literally the first country we went to right. outside of Canada. We flew Toronto to Tokyo, and we started vlogging, and it's the most cringe-inducing, pathetic, poorly edited, no storyline, <laughs> nervous on camera. If you want to laugh at us, go ahead and watch Still our- good memories though. Good memories with terrible vlogs. Uh, if you want to laugh at us, go back and watch those vlogs because it's uh, pretty cringy. And so anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, the train was a good experience, would recommend, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Later skaters.